Hi, my name is Jack Triolo, and I'm with Mountaintop Golf Cars and GolfCarCatalog.com. And today I'm here to speak with you about battery cables and battery cable ends, or lugs as we call them. We'd like to talk about the different types of battery cables, how they corrode, how they get too hot, how they just insulation burns off, the different thicknesses of the cables and why some are better and why some are not. We're going to talk about melted battery posts where the lead actually melts away and leaves you stranded. And we're going to talk about the different cable ends and finally the different connect. We're also going to talk about battery cables and how they corrode and break in half and also how to crimp properly the cable end or the lug onto the cable itself and that is an art form and we'll talk about that as well. Traditionally golf car manufacturers have put on this six gauge cable which is standard on almost every manufactured golf car in the country and in the world. This is six gauge as opposed to a thicker cable called four gauge which is what this is and we'll go into this a little bit more as we uh, progress through the video. These are cable ends that I've selected to show you how they corrode. And we'll just start over here on this end and here we have a fine example of a battery cable end that has just gone about to the limit of what it can do. You can see that it easily flexes in my finger. This is not a good connection. We'll go to this one. Same thing. This is just about to break away. This will not conduct much electricity. Here we have another example. I'd like to show this particular example, which is an example of corrosion that has infected the cable itself. And you can see this is a four gauge, this is a two gauge cable, excuse me, but it has swelled to several times its diameter due to corrosion getting in under the wrap that they put on the end supposedly to help preserve the cable I call them corrosion catchers and this is why they cover, collect the acid they, it festers, it swells the cable and this type of thing also occurs due to the corrosion of the acid environment in the golf car. Here we have another one and yet another, still yet another, and another, and I could go on. Here's one that finally broke. Very thin. You can see how fine it is, and there was very little, similar to these earlier ones I was showing you. You can actually see how that is just about to fall apart. We have other cables here. Another fine example, you can see how this has gotten hot, and this is what will melt down battery posts. Here we have a couple other fine examples. Here is an example of where somebody took this, wrapped it around the nut on the battery post, and tried to make this work. This is a good way to get home. This is not a good way to run your car on a day-to-day -day basis. Here we have some more cables that are corroding some of the cheap cable and ends that have corroded. All this is due to improper battery care. Another example of a battery cable end. This is a cheap 24, uh, 49 uh, gauge or 49 wire cable and we'll talk more about battery cables. You can see here, moving the camera over, here we have a 4 gauge cable and this is what we call battery cable. This is not welding cable. This is starting cable for your automobile or perhaps your boat. Whereas good six gauge cable used in golf cars has many, many, this is about 250 strands of wire, copper wire, versus about 49 to 60 strands in this. This is four gauge and this is it's usually marked on the side of the cable. This is six gauge cable in the black. 
Marco. This is a standard golf car battery cable. This is a standard automotive starting cable that you would find in your auto parts store in your local neighborhood. Displayed a set of different size battery cables in different gauge sizes. Here we have the black cable. This is a six gauge cable typically found in almost every golf car in the country. Here we have the 3 8 ring end number six barrel and this is a 5 16 inch number six barrel. These are typical for almost all the golf car battery uh, lugs in the industry again. This is tinned copper. This is straight copper. Here we have four gauge. Now the golf car manufacturers and the aftermarket builders are going more and more to four gauge because of the better conductivity and the easier routing that the welding cable permits. Again we were talking this is also four gauge so these are the same gauge cables but you can see these are thicker wires that make up the cable. These are thinner and you have a lot more of these makes for better conductivity and better flexibility of the cable. Here we have a tinned copper connector or lug and here we have one in copper and you can see the four right on there so you know that that four matches the four gauge cable. Moving on to a two gauge and right here on the cable two gauge right here on the cable four gauge these are two gauge cable ends or lugs and again it's marked right on there you can see the two this is a this is tinned copper and this is tinned copper this is a three eighths this is actually looks like a quarter inch this is a number ten ring end for depends on where you need to connect it to now here we have our good old swollen cable with our corrosion catcher uh, shrink wrap these are the same size cables. This should look like this, but the acid corrosion has built up under this cable housing, the insulation, and has caused this swelling, and needless to say, that's not a good con conductor. We go over here to one gauge. This is one gauge cable right here. This gets a little thicker. This is a little bit different crimp on here. It's an, actually an open crimp something similar to that and they roll it over and that requires a special crimping tool to do that. Those, this is a welded seam right here and so these are actually welded and they can be pressed against and not compromised. Where this you need a special crimping tool to do that. Now here we have a double aught battery cable this would be used in solar applications. You would not find this typically on a golf car, but you might on a very high performance car uh, or automobile. And here we have special cables for the double aught cable to be crimped. Now these require special crimping tools. This is not your standard run-of-the-mill hand crimper like you might use on small connectors. This cable crimper is quite adequate for home use. You simply put your cable end in here, you release this down, and you hit it with a hammer. And that will crimp this in order to close it tightly against the cable. If you have a seamed end, or like this, you would turn that seam down so that it's cradled and then bang on the back side and that will adequately work for home. Now this is not a professional device. This is a little bit more of a professional device. This will close and crimp against the crimp lug and the cable and provide an adequate crimp method for probably thousands and thousands of times but this will wear and eventually not crimp to the proper tension which can be up to six tons of pressure on these cables and lugs. That is the type of lug connection that you want and that is displayed right here on this four gauge cable. That's crimped on four sides, very professional, 
It's in fact done by a professional organization and we offer this cable with these crimped ends on our website.